Hey citizens, today we're taking out the Nomad from Consolidated Outland. The Nomad has a unique look compared to other offerings from Consolidated, namely the hovering landing gear and external cargo hold. Let's take a look inside. From our immediate left, we have a storage closet, habitation access, a toilet, component access, and cargo lift control with external viewport. Upon entering the habitation section, we have a bed with shelving, and the kitchenette with range top, in addition to the cockpit access. The Nomad has one top-mounted twin turret that can hold two gimbaled size 2 weapons or two fixed size 3 weapons and one nose-mounted size 3 hardpoint. The missile deployment system is built into the ship and houses four size 2 missiles on the left and right side of the ship for a total of eight size 2 missiles. Additionally, the Nomad has one power plant, two coolers, and three shield generators. All components are size one. Let's take a look at our loadout. For components, we will use one Palisade shield generator for its high damage resistance and two overclocked Mirage shield generators for their awesome regenerative capabilities and the reduced signature. One Quadracell power plant to give us plenty of overhead and two glacier coolers. For weapons, we're going with two GT-220 Ballistic Gatling Guns, utilizing the fixed option of the top mount turret, and one XJ-3 on the nose as a force multiplier for those ballistic guns. The missile system has been loaded with eight Strike Force Size 2 missiles. Now let's check out the cockpit and do our pre-flight checks. Remember, you never know when combat situations could occur. Always be ready. Welcome. Your journey begins now. All systems operational. We're going to overclock our two Mirage shield generators and the weapons. We're also going to preset our countermeasures for rapid deployment, then get our MFDs in order. Let's take the Nomad out and see how it fares in a few engagements.
In closing, the Nomad has a little bit of sway when changing direction to line up a target. It caused me to overcompensate when leading targets quite a few times. This will take a little getting used to, and I suggest you familiarize yourself with the flight characteristics of this ship if you plan to use it regularly for combat. I think this ship is pretty solid when considering amenities, components, and weapons package. I grade the Nomad as combat viable. Its flight characteristics prove to be a bit unpredictable at times, but I do think with a little more flight time, it'll become more manageable. The Nomad will be available for in-game purchase in the upcoming 313 patch, so if you've had your eye on it, an opportunity to test it is just around the corner. That concludes this combat test flight. Till next time, citizen, stay frosty, and I'll see you in the verse.